we're out here on the farm today doing some hive inspections. If you saw back in the spring, uh, we added some beehives. We added 10 hives here at Bywater. And today we're just going through some, some of the bees and doing some inspections and wanted you all to uh, see kind of what was going on. And so, and take you through and show you some of the things in the bees. Um, got this hive open here. And the way this typically works is your bottom two boxes we typically uh, don't harvest any honey out of those because those are brood boxes and so that's where uh, the queen is laying most of her eggs and, and staying busy down there uh, taking care of the colony um, and then the smaller boxes are what we call honey supers um, i'm using medium size supers uh, but i wanted to give you a look at uh, what the bees have been collecting and so we have you know about 40 acres of pumpkins out here on the farm and so one of the big reasons we wanted to add the bees was to help with their pollination and it looks like so far that's doing pretty good. Um, but I wanna pull a couple of these frames out and let you see uh, what the bees have been working on. We harvested uh, several frames of honey about a week ago. Uh, but I'll let you take a look at that frame. Uh, what you can see is that some of it has some uh, white cappings on it. Um, so like right in here, uh, that's where bees have started capping the, the honey or the nectar that they've uh, turned into honey and basically got it to the right moisture level. And so as they uh, actually start getting it to the right moisture level, these bees start working on capping it. And so, um, you know, you'll see bees doing a, a variety of activities on the frame, but, you know, some of them are capping things off. Some of them are filling up uh, the cells with, uh, with honey, with the nectar that they're bringing in and uh, so they all have their, their certain jobs that they're working on, but that's just a kind of a, a typical frame. You can see on the other side um, that they have maybe a little bit more of that capped off, and so bees are continuing to bring in nectar, and they're sealing it up as it gets ready. Um, you know, honey needs to be at about a 17% moisture content uh, for us to be able to harvest it, and so you can, for the most part, rest assured that when it's capped off, it's, it's basically ready. Um, and that's not always the case, but and for the most part, uh, that's kind of the rule of thumb that we use. Um, well, we also have uh, quite a bit of buckwheat for these bees to work here on the farm too. We planted a lot of that to help the bees forage and get a good head start um, for them for to have a food source through the summer. And so we're fortunate that we've been able to irrigate, even though we had a lot of dry weather, we were able to irrigate, irrigate crops and, and keep, uh, a pretty good honey flow even when most people were uh, with bees that were going through what they call a dearth which there's not much uh, nectar flow going on out there so you can see kind of the next frame over uh, a lot of the same they've built out the comb uh, and then they've started filling it up and capping it off and so uh, they're working pretty hard on, on doing that but that's kind of what a, a honey so a honey super looks like and kind of what the bees are doing as they're um, bringing in that nectar and out foraging so you, you may be seeing a lot of bees, you know, flying around out front. Those are mostly foraging bees that have been out gathering um, nectar and pollen. They like to bring in quite a bit of pollen. They need the pollen as a as a protein source uh, to help keep the uh, keep the brood alive, which is the eggs uh, that the that the queen has laid. And so that's what most of the pollen is for. And so they'll make uh, use of that um, for nutrients to help keep the hive. Uh, going. I'm going to slip this frame back down in the honey super. I'm actually going to take this top super off. And keep them smoked a little bit, keep them calmed down. So the next box down is also a honey super uh, that I've added on there. Um, I like to do sometimes what they call under supering. So they put the, the newest super on the bottom so that they can work on capping off the rest of the honey up top. And then they start drawing out more frames to store more honey on. I'm gonna take a look at a couple of these frames just real quick and show you what the frames start out like. 
So that's what the frames look like before the bees really start building out the wax. So we put the foundation on and you can see they've started maybe a little bit working the top of that frame just a little. But they'll draw that comb on out so that they can put the uh, nectar flow in there. So they've got some work to do on these frames to add or to make the uh, honey cells. I'm gonna slide that back down in there. And I'm gonna take it off to get us down to the brood box. So down here, these bottom two boxes are the brood box. And so that's where the queen is hopefully staying and doing most of her work. Um, I'm actually working on uh, treating these hives for uh, varroa mites, um, which affect the bees a great deal. And so we're trying to make sure that they're ready to go for the winter. Um, and so I don't want to disturb the, uh, the brood too much uh, because of that treatment. But uh, I'll try to pull a frame out here and let you see what uh, maybe some brood looks like. Several thousands of bees down in here. A lot of people have a fear of getting into these hives. Uh, I guess they think maybe the, the bees are just gonna swarm out all over top of them or something. For the most part, bees stay pretty calm. Most of the time when they get riled up, it's because of a, a mistake that I've made. All right, so this is a really nice frame of, of brood. So uh, I really like the way this queen's laying. I mean, she's laid pretty much this entire frame and you can see that some of the frames or some of the comb is like a darker color. That's what we call brood that's been sealed up and a bee will eventually emerge out of those as an adult bee. Um, you also can see, you know, a couple different stages in here. And if I happen to see the queen, I'll, I'll point her out. Um, but you see some of these open frames. I don't know if she can zoom in there and see that, but you can see little larva down inside those cells. So those will eventually get, get capped up and that larva uh, will turn into an adult mm -hmm. bee uh, very soon. And so this is a good sign of a, a good healthy hive. You notice they'll store some, they always keep some honey stores a lot of times on these brood frames that they can use for a food source down below. Um, they'll also sometimes store some pollen uh, so that they can use that uh, as a nutrient source to feed with. Um, I'm not seeing too much pollen in there on this frame. Let me check this other side out and see what's going on. But that's what a really nice frame of brood would look like. And uh, like I said, we should have several bees emerging out from this frame here in the next few days. Sometimes you can catch one coming out of the, the cells. And pretty much this time of year, they're, they're starting to kick the male bees out of the hive. So pretty much everything you're seeing on this frame are all pretty much uh, female worker bees. Um, and so some of them are nurse bees that are taking care of the brood. Some of them are, you know, taking care of the, the honey source. So they all have their jobs in here on the hives. And we're gonna slide this frame back down in here and get back to work on these hives. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always um, ask in the comment section and we'll try to get those questions answered. Um, and maybe you can come out and enjoy a jar of honey that's been harvested right here from these hives uh, this fall during Autumn Fest. So we'd like to see you out here at Autumn Fest. Come out, bring the kids, enjoy a day on the farm, and we'll catch you this fall.